specific charges misunderstood quite a lot so i thought i'd make this video to go through the three types of specific charges you're expected to know which is the specific charge of an atom in general the specific charge of a nucleus and also the specific charge of an sorry this is supposed to say ion an ion that's formed when an atom gains or loses electrons so just in general specific charge is given by the equation charge over mass the charge per unit mass so this first question is actually a bit of a trick question because an atom well it has protons neutrons and electrons neutrons are uncharged so they have no effect on the charge of an atom whereas the number of protons which is eight is balanced by the number of electrons meaning the overall charge is balanced meaning this would just be zero divided by it doesn't even matter what the mass is because zero divided by any number is just zero so the specific charge of any atom is just zero itself charge is measured in coulombs mass in kilograms so it's coulombs per kilogram for the unit now for a nucleus it's a little bit different because a nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons like i mentioned before neutrons are uncharged but protons have a charge so the charge of a nucleus itself let's write this formula out again before i carry on but the charge of a nucleus is due to the charge of protons electrons have no effect on the nucleus so what we do is we take the number of protons eight and we multiply it by the charge of each individual proton which is given in your equation sheet let's write out here 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 and we divide it by the mass of the nucleus which is just the mass of all the protons and neutrons in the nucleus now they actually have the same mass of 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 which again is given in your equation sheet it's only electrons that have a different mass and we'll talk more about that in the next question but the overall mass is the total number of protons and neutrons which is the mass number of 16 multiplied by the mass of each of the protons and neutrons which is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 let's put that into a calculator and see what we get so 16 times 1.67 and that will give you 4.8 times 10 to the power of 7 once again the units would just be coulombs per kilogram great and lastly the specific charge of an ion so now we're considering all protons neutrons and electrons again let's talk a little bit about this now the proton number on an oxygen atom is always unchanged if you change the proton number that just changes the atom is in general so it's gonna stay as 8 but it tells you that this atom gains two electrons we'd expect the electron number to be 8 also but because it gains two electrons there's gonna be 10 electrons the number of neutrons is still going to be 8 because it, it's the mass number take away the proton number and that stays the same. So unlike an atom where the number of protons is balanced by the number of electrons, the number of electrons is more, meaning we have two more of a negative charge. Now the charge of an electron itself is minus 1.6 times to the minus 19, but because we have two extra electrons compared to protons, we say that the charge is um, two lots of the charge of an electron hopefully that made sense i think this is the hardest one to remember and then you divide by the mass of the whole ion itself which is the mass of all the protons neutrons and electrons so we mentioned that protons and neutrons have the same mass so we take the number of protons and neutrons multiply them by the mass which again is the same one that we used before given to you in an equation sheet and we add on to that the mass of all the electrons which is the number of electrons multiplied by the mass of each electron which is also given to you in an equation sheet let's make this a bit longer you can put all of that into your calculator so i'm just going to quickly do that and that gives you a value of minus so it will be negative as we expect because of the charge of the electron but that's fine 
1.2. You might notice that I'm writing these numbers in standard form and that's how it always tends to pop up in mark schemes. So I would recommend you do that as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times 10 to the 7 coulombs per kilogram. Hopefully that made sense and that cleared a few things up. Um, if you like this video, uh, please consider subscribing. I make at least one new video, sometimes two if I feel like it, um, every day on A-level physics um, year one content. And I'm going to start doing year two content as well. And so, yeah, subscribe with post notifications on and like the video, please. It'll mean a lot. Bye.